Hey everybody, this is Flo Jung and in today's video I wanted to help you with a few tips to improve your wave riding. And these three tips are basically wave fundamentals that every wave rider has to understand and has to know sooner or later. And these are the wave selections, the timing on the wave while riding the wave and where you place yourself um, on the wave in which areas you place yourself. And basically, actually you think like wave riding is a lot about the gear and the technique, but if you neglect these areas, you won't go anywhere. So starting with the wave selection, you have to see yourself as a surfer even though as a windsurfer you can move um, way quicker from A to B in the end of the day it's about waiting for the waves not just taking anything that comes along it takes a bit of discipline and patience but once you really wait for the waves um, in front of the impact zone like 50 meters of where the wave starts breaking before that, uh, then you get a really good picture which waves will break, um, how, uh, and you learn so much more when you really focus on getting the right waves. Wave selection should be clear for everybody. Um, the better the wave, the more potential it offers to do multiple turns and um, some waves are mushy, some waves have different sections where you find more power and in the end of the day you want to look on the ocean, uh, on the water for a wave that has a shoulder, that has a tendency to, to break at one point and then um, like break all the way to another point. Like that you can connect and use the, the power of the wave to generate board speed. Um, another factor that helped me a lot is um, that once you are on a new spot, rather go too early uh, than too late. So you get a feel for the wave uh, and you're always in a safe um, zone and you can start going to the peak or to the, to the braking section um, step by step. Each wave has a power zone, that's a zone that generates speed, just generates speed without the wind speed. And these um, areas are just in front of the wave where the wave starts to break, the water is getting sucked up and just in front of there, there is a zone that gives you board speed, that gives you an acceleration. And another power zone would be um, if you have like a point break, if the wave gets really steep and there's actually a shoulder and um, like the wave is just about to, to break, that's where another power zone is. And if you always connect these two zones, then you always will get um, a push from the wave. You really feel the energy um, of um, yeah, the wave and that in the end gives you speed and speed as we learned is your friend and that gives you the flexibility to, to go basically wherever you want on the wave. Whether it's surfing, it's windsurfing, every day that you're able to ride waves it helps you to understand that never-ending source of power that there is in the ocean and um, Sometimes it's about facing your fears, sometimes it's about maybe just riding um, average onshore waves, but every day you are just taking a wave, you will learn something and it's uh, crucial to, to be out there and um, experience it for yourself. You will make mistakes, but um, with just taking a closer look on um, the timing 
the wave selection and um, the placement where you set yourself on the wave, um, you will get to your final destination a bit closer. In the end it's like playing chess on the water. You have to think the whole time and um, it, it never gets boring. The better you get, the more fun it is to actually uh, be out there and um, yeah, experience every wave in a different way and um, learn and progress and um, feel that unique power of the ocean. If you like this video, I would be happy that you give me a thumb up or subscribe to my channel and um, yeah, hope to see you soon in the future again. Cheers!